Hey YouTube, it's Rarity Ho, and this is my third vlog now. Uh, just want to kind of, you know, go over some more things. Uh, kind of throwing in my my regional update in this. I didn't do very well. Uh, I was X3 in my last one, and then just got. Uh, it was a very, it was a very strange regional. N no one from uh, PWG did any good, really. Um, and uh, I got, I ended up losing in game three to a very bad Shadal player, and I lost because the Shadal player sided in Soul Drain, which was pretty unexpected. And uh, the last, last couple matches of the regional were really upsetting. I was losing to just weird things. There was this one Bujan player that had like mirror forces and magic cylinders and just all this stuff that I couldn't, you know, just in the meta you don't expect and uh, kept throwing me off and I don't know, it I started the regional very strong, I, I lost, well I did lose my first round but then I won the next four right, no I won the next what was it, nine, and ended up losing four. Yeah, so I ended up winning the next five. That's what it was. And then I lost the last three. So I went X4. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was, I don't know, I was on a roll, and then I just encountered some really weird decks, and just, it was unfortunate. Let's just put, let's just leave it at that. Um, but anyway, so I did end up picking up some cool stuff, though. Uh, before the regional started, uh, I picked up a playset of Secret Rare Vanity's Emptiness, which, I don't know, I can't get it to Glimmer. Oh, well. They're Secret Rare. That's all that matters. Um, and I think that may have been what caused my inevitable downfall. I'm pretty sure these things stack really hard. I feel like every game, um, they were always together picked up two secret rare trap stuns. I still need one more. Those things were crazy hard to find for some reason. I ended up having a, one I bought from a vendor. It was only three dollars. It's not an expensive card. But apparently Vanding is Emptiness is easier to get a hold of than secret trap stuns. And then I picked up a uh, ulti Phoenix Wing Blast. Uh, I have another one so that makes means I have two now. I just need one more. Uh, there's some other stuff I need to finish out my Burning Abyss deck. Um, I need Ultra Nightmare Sharks, and I need Ulti Valor, uh, Valor, Effect Valors, I need one more Ulti Vanities Fiend, because I have one already, um, I need Ulti Rises, but I don't even think I'm going to be playing them pretty soon, once the new, uh, new Challengers comes out, so I'm not even really going to care. Same with the Valors, though, that's another reason I'm going to pick those up, I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing Valor. Uh, because with all the new monsters, uh, there's gonna be, there's definitely gonna have to be some cutouts. I will need, I still need one ulti breakthrough skill. I have one, I'm playing two, uh, so I just need one more ulti. Uh, and I think that's really about it, though, that I need. Everything else is max rarity, though. It's, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty nice. Um, but anyway, unfortunately, like I said, the regional wasn't too well. Um... Uh, I was right there and then uh, flaked out at the end, so, you know, shit happens, I guess, but, uh, I don't know, I always feel like I'm really unlucky at regionals, everyone is like, oh, I played all these meta players, and I always end up playing this, this just weird stuff, I played, uh, Burning Abyss, or, um, Trap Tricks, Burning Abyss Trap Tricks, which basically translated to five back row every game, I played against a really terrible Gear Gear Kara Curry player, that kept misplaying really hard, ended up losing him, uh, just because he had, he continuously had five back row, but he kept trying to activate like Vanities and Shadow Mirror and the damage step. He tried to special summon Accelerator while Vanities was up. He did all these things, and I still ended up losing. Uh, and I was really upset about that one. Because uh, I, I don't know, this, this just sucks losing to bad players that just happen to have good cards on the field. Uh, but you know, that's the game of Yu Gi Oh! Um, uh, but anyway, also, I wanted to talk a little bit about Geeknet. There'll be a link in the description below. 
Uh, basically, what's going on is uh, GeekNet Net is a, now a new uh, new way to partner with YouTube. I, I don't know the exact wording because it kind of, I don't know. But, you know, basically, if you're trying to get, you know, someone to uh, monetize your videos so you can start getting ads and start getting a little bit of revenue through your videos, or you're looking for someone to maybe uh, do it better, because, like, if you're just doing it directly through YouTube, it's usually not the best uh, percentages and whatnot. Uh, but through GeekNet, uh, it it is uh it's, they got a really good system and uh and they're just a bunch of really good people um me being a part of it you know and uh we should be doing uh i i will be doing a card channel or a card uh game channel uh sometime in the future uh hopefully not too far away uh but i do need i do need help i know Yu-Gi-Oh people but if anyone knows uh, or if anyone watching, you know, uh, does magic or Vanguard or Pokemon or anything like that, I need those kind of channels uh, to hit me up. And if they want to be a part of this, because Geek is, you know, geek, the Geek channel has only been up for a few months, like three or four at the most, but I don't even know if it's been that long. And uh, it's already over a thousand subscribers. The channel itself is doing really well. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, every day continuously growing and doing really well, and I'm very happy to be a part of it, and very happy to get my, uh, sub-channel from Geek that's going to be the Trading Card Games, and I think it's going to be, uh, a, a very interesting, it's going to, you know, be a better community, uh, a little, a little more tight-knit, even though it will be a little, you know, still kind of vague and broad, uh, covering, you know, any card game. Uh, I think there's a lot of people that would enjoy playing other games that they just really don't know about. And so if they can go to one place and be able to find things and and see what it's all about, you know, uh, I think it'll help people broaden their horizons. And, uh, I, you know, me, myself, you know, I, I'm i pretty much just uh, into Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't, you know, like, for example, Vanguard, I've heard of it, but I've never seen anything like it. Uh, I want to see if people uh, want to do le like Marvel Legendary, if they want that stuff like that on the channel. I don't know. I enjoy the game Legendary, but I don't know if people would enjoy watching Legendary. Um, if you would, please let me know because I could definitely get that up on there. Um, and maybe you know other games, uh, even if it's not, uh, you know, like. Uh, you know, obviously Legendary isn't a trading card game either, but, uh, you know, I could get other games like Flux or... I don't know too many of them personally, but I know there's a bunch out there. Uh, my uh, my girlfriend's sister has, like, every game known to man, and so she could definitely help me out with uh, ideas for the channel. But mostly, I do need other people, because it, it is a group effort, and uh, I need other people to uh, contribute with their channels, and helping me uh, make this all that it is and it's a, just a for the people that do join it's a great way to have pr extra promotion and start pulling in fans from other people's fans and all just you know meshing together and becoming one beautiful thing <laughs> um, but uh, other than that uh, oh yeah it's still the mats I'm still working on the mats I've checked out a whole bunch of different places here in Louisville and no one has a large inkjet printer that they would be willing to let me use. I found one place, but they're like, yeah, nah, we're not interested. I'm like, well, that sucks, even though you're a printing company. But, you know, whatever. Um, the ideas right now are either wait for some people to help uh, partner with me and get that uh, going, or to uh, just try to you know, put my own money into it and and get it rolling, but, you know, giant printers are expensive, so we'll see. Hopefully, that'll get going sometime in the future, because I got, I know, you know, just on hand right now, I have two artists that would be able to uh, produce mats for me, and they're both really, really good, and uh, I, would, I would just love to be able to um, get these mats out, because I know there's, there's people that really really desire this product. And actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and 
Bam, right there, there it is. That's my Burning Abyss playmat uh, design. And you, you can let me know, I've been you know keeping it secret until now, but if there's enough demand for it, I may uh, start, you know, pulling, you know, seeing what I can do and getting the funding to going into getting the printers and all that that I need uh, and start start doing this because I I do think it's a really good idea. I, I do think, you know, there's definitely a market for it and uh, there's a demand for it and there's there's not enough being supplied. Uh, you know, there are some people that do custom mats and stuff, but, um, you know, w whenever I try to think of any idea to make money, I always think, well, what's... What's it? What is it that I want? And then I try to do that. And uh, so right, right now, you know, I was thinking, man, or this is a long time ago, obviously, but I was like, I wish I had, you know, just a badass burning abyss mat. And then I was like, you know what? How come? Uh, how come this isn't happening? <laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it happen. I just, I need your reassurance to let me know if, uh, if this is something that you all want, like immediately. Or, or what, I mean, because uh, it is going to be a lot of work for me and a lot of money spent in order to, uh, you know, get the ball rolling, that is. And then after that, I think it'll be, I think it'll be something I can, you know, really grow myself off of and uh, use funds from that to help grow my channel and, uh, you know, make this all it can be. Um, but other than that, I'm still waiting on my new computer, so the channel update is still not happening yet. I was hoping it happened yet. Uh, my friend, like I said, my friend, he's building me the computer and he ordered all the parts and we're waiting on one more part. I forget what it was. Um, it's like a hard drive or something. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, he said, it like, uh, you know, he has the shipping or, you know, it's tracked or whatever. And, uh, it says it's, it, for the past, like, few days, it says it's here in Louisville, but for whatever reason, it's not being shipped to him. So, uh, I don't know. We're waiting to see what happens with that. Um, but I'm, I'm really excited. I got some cool new art, like I said, I was going to put on the page and kind of give it a, uh, you know, just an upgrade and different, you know, uh, all my art right now is, you know, it's pretty outdated. Um, so I wanted something new and fresh. And uh, on top of that, uh, I don't know if I want, I, I think I've decided against the intro. Uh, I was talking to somebody, they said, you know, I didn't need that or whatever. Um, and I like, I don't know, because I, I see the point, because a lot of people just like to, you know, my videos start and it gets to the point and it tells what's going on. And, uh, you know, watching a 30, 40 second intro every time you watch somebody's video, it's kind of redundant. And like I said, it's more of a personal thing anyway, like, oh, like, yeah, look at that, I got that cool intro, but, you know, it doesn't really matter. So uh, I think I've decided against it. Um... But, uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, yeah, but I, I was thinking maybe about changing the outro song. I don't know if people think I should keep that song, or since I'm, you know, giving an update on everything, if I should get something new. Let me know what you think about that. If you really like it, uh, which I really like that beat. It's just a badass beat. If you really like it, then I'll keep it there. But uh, if not, you know, maybe it's time for you know, a change of pace or something. Uh, and then the last thing I want to talk about is I'm really excited for the new Challengers set coming out in a little bit. I forget what, what the date is exactly, but it's not far away at all. And I have been playtesting a little bit. I've only played a few games with uh, my first rendition of the new Burning Abyss deck anyway. So uh, it's not, you know, don't <laughs> give me a... Uh, harsh criticism or anything, but uh, I would I would really love if, if uh, some of y'all want to play, then uh, please hit me up, hit me up uh, here on YouTube, uh, or try to, excuse me, I know the, uh, what's it called, on Dueling Network, the messaging system just trips me up every time, it's really, really weird and I don't get it, so uh, <laughs> if you message me, I will message you, but that doesn't mean necessarily we'll get to play, because... I don't know, like, it makes me lose your messages sometimes when I... Because you have to close it sometimes when you're in the middle of a duel, because it's just in the way. Anyway, but I would really love to test out the new Burning Abyss uh, deck. 
if especially I've not played yet against uh, Cliff Forts or whatever the hell they're called. I don't know. Uh, so if you have one of those decks uh, on DN uh, and you kind of you know know what you're doing with it, uh, please hit me up. I would love to play test against it, see how how that deck runs because I have not really looked into it like I should have been, but I've been focusing on the Burning Abyss stuff, and it's really dope, and I'm really excited about it, so, um, you know, like I said, just let me, let me know what you think, because, uh, or yeah, I'll, I'll try to, you know, you can just hit me up for my, my deck list if you're interested in talking about Burning Abyss, like the, uh, the future decks, and how they'll be, and if you have cool ideas and whatnot, let me know. Because I guess mine is fairly standard, except for I'm still maining to Vanity Sphine. I feel like that's really strong and will remain to be strong, especially against uh, Cliff Forts or whatever, you know, their Pendulum Summons. I just have a Vanity Sphine on field, blam! Um, you know, pretty much how he is right now. But uh, anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for uh, this uh, episode or whatever the hell these things are called. And as always, please do remember to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Rarity Hope. Peace out.